to hit his Earth Chatter on you. Well, they're going in here on to Liliana in the mid lane. Oh, no, that's not a good position to be in. And already Yoshibi is taking a lot of damage, able to get himself out. Nice job. The counter is coming in here. And Art, it's actually going to be Kappa that falls. Nicely done there. And finding two in the mid. Beautifully done here from Myth. What a bait there. Jebaited there saying. Thane is diving in real deep in the back, though, trying to survive. His rest of the team is collapsing and then beautifully done, but the heal is going to come out. There it is. And we have Shinaka joining the fray, finding Viola. Look at the damage onto the ADC, but they're splitting it here. They're not quite able to secure a take down, not finding those crucial kills here, as somehow, there we go, finally the Joker able to get that in the back as well. Wonder Woman has joined the fray. It may be too late, though, as she's facing five members. Fair, they're keeping so much pressure on, but now a bit of a fight might develop underneath this bottom tower. They're going in, but look, Numir is diving in here, but taking a lot of damage. The response, and he just <laughs> went way too far. Oh, he's negating some of that earlier beautiful play, but Liliana, oh man, a counter kill there. Nicely done coming in from them. They're going to give up this top tower. I like it, but Shitaka is going to go in as well, but the counter initiation, the stun is there. The follow up, the damage from Preda is solid. Nicely done, but the return wow. kill, the takedown, that Thane all, it hits like a truck. Once she scales to the late game, she has just so much poke and burn potential. Her tactical fire just cuts through an entire enemy team. And look at this fight here. Yeah, they're going in there trying to get this dragon. Both sides trading out damage left and right. As we do see W just trying to back. The tanks, though, from the side of Arctic are getting so low. And here the takedowns start to change. As Numir has joined the fray. Wonder Woman might be in a bit of trouble here as both sides suffering casualties. So nicely done here for the side of Arctic, though, as they're trying to back. I mean, cut their losses at this point. Myth is just looking so dominant in this fight. And Wonder Woman just always seems to show up just a little bit too late. Yeah, Myth is playing a lot better with their focus. In that one fight that would happen, basically win a lot of the uh, map pressure. And right now, she's going to take the top tower, but they give up a Dragon Fence. They're trading, which is good. But in this situation here, let's see who's going to come on top based on this fight. Yeah, I mean, W is trying to do as much damage as he can here, too. And, but in the end, Liliana overextends there in that box. They will trade at one for one as W is going to drop as wow. well. Not quite able to chain that that they can fight within the next 30 seconds because Malik will not have his ultimate up. Yeah, that is a big cooldown. They were able to bait out there. Nicely done there. But, oh, Shintaka has now found himself some friends in the bot lane. He is going to drop. Thane is going to go in. Numir as well, trying to find the initiation. Big damage coming in from him. Frika is getting shot wow. low. Look at the damage out of the Thane. Nicely done, though. But Numir is spread from his team, and he will finally drop. This is the note. This is what I'm starting to notice, though. And no, Yoshimitsu, that is not where you want to be, friend. He has walked in, did manage to find the takedown, but at what cost? Yeah, they do get the Valet, though, which is good. But but Numir had a play there. He just went in and did a nice Thane ultimate, taking so much damage. Uh, but up in the top lane, somebody who is not having the benefit of his team is Malik getting caught out here. Shintaka, once again, some questionable positioning from him here. And Fricka shutting down the team from coming and helping him. That was a beautiful play from him. Super heads up here. And with that pick, Arctic is going to look to push in here in the top. Numir is standing strong, though, up against the team. But once again, uh, nobody's with him. At all. Well, a mainstay here in terms of this build. They're pushing on high ground, but Numir is going in, able to get a lot of damage in, and Yoshimitsu is there to follow up. But he's actually uh, not really dishing out that damage as he should be here. But the rest of the team is here, though. Joker doing a lot of damage in the back here. But that is Shintaka following oh. W, though. Nice damage coming in there as well. That was a huge snipe. Beautifully done there from yeah, that. Yeah, the right key shot lasts for five seconds. Uh, Myth W needed to just keep moving and run away from it because you can move faster than it. But the right key shot actually lands, and that does. It'll take over half your health apart right now, somehow back and forth this fight. I hard to even keep track as Joker is all in and out, but AXL or ALX is actually going to drop. That's really what it's going to come down to here is we have a very actually spread out potential engage, but oh no, that is Kappa getting found by the enemy team. Nice damage coming as well from Liliana, and that is Shintaka stepping up, and that is the insta-pick onto the carry for the side of Arctic. That is absolutely huge here. The rest of the team is trying to retreat, trying to cut their losses here. As, oh no, but actually able to turn, trade out one for one, so not too bad here as the fight is devolving all across the board. W stepping so far forward, though, almost getting caught here. This is huge, but look at the poke damage is coming from Liliana, forced to burn out the heal as well, so that's a big uh, cooldown burn for the side of Arctic Gaming here as they're pushing out of the tower. Numir might have stepped too far forward, the CC is there, and he is charging back, Whoa. but he's getting a big nicely done there. WD is stepping forward as well. You should meet already at half health, but CEO and crew are pushing in. There's the stun, the follow-up as well on Shintaka. Nicely done there from them, forced to blow the ult and back out once again, though, and slowly chunking down the other team, but this is all Arctic. They're taking it to myth right now. Beautifully done, and Zunk might potentially go down here, but he's done so much work, I think it's worth it.
Yeah, and this is the push now into the bot lane. Having that defense you talk about is crucial because they are exploiting it at every turn here as they're pushing in onto this high ground tower now, but all five members of Myth are alive. So this is the fight here on going in onto the core as Zunk is engaging onto the Joker. The follow-up CC, the stun is there, but they're able to stay alive at the turn. But in the back again, New Mir has found the opposing team and they have taken him down. Beautiful peel, there's the takedown. Three, four, and I think that is going to be it. Yoshimitsu is the last one alive. No, the Joker is back in this fight, but I don't think it's going to to be enough. Nicely done as the side of Arctic Gaming is pushing in onto the core. They're focusing it here. They're trying to take it down, splitting that damage. Just style points here. But with that, that's going to be GG. Arctic Gaming takes game number one. He should be able to be even against a Tulin based on his kit. And look at this rotation by Arctic here. Very well played. They might be able to get this first kill here, and that's huge. Shintaka has just, it's not even necessarily his <laughs> positioning. He's just had the worst luck, and this is what I was saying. It looks like they are going to secure this tower, and they don't, and this is the this is the buff that happened. The tower is much stronger in early game, and they risk a lot to get that tower. Yeah, Yoshimitsu, though, might have actually overstepped here, so they ended up trading positive on that somehow, but I was going to go hashtag new mechanics because that was the backdoor. Percentage stance point, so it doesn't matter what builds or what items you have, the damage reduction will be percentage-based instead of armor-based. Uh, Numir trying to invade there in the bottom. You just said that, that the percentage-based damage is going to be a huge factor. They're going to push the lane and trade towers in the mid. This is very interesting plays by both teams. I like what they're doing. And now Shintaka is trying to fight here though and once again finding himself in the middle of the enemy team trying to fight on this hill is going in as well as Lubu was trying to get that damage to stun the knock up there for him not able to get the takedown though there's a damage from Fennec is massive nicely done but now it's W who might be caught out here managing to escape Numir and look at Fricka going in trying to get the CC but I think he stepped too far forward nice stun there onto CO as well to try and disengage but Fricka is rotating in here forcing the back they're like thanks for the gift I guess the stun coming in though a lot of damage this is going to be actually a long drawn out fight as the rest of the crew is joining in here and this could be potentially a throw but the Dark Slayer is going the way of the side of Arctic Gaming which is going to give them a huge edge in this fight as Yoshimitsu and crew are getting destroyed. He's trying to do a lot of damage in the back, though, but he is going to fall nicely done for the side of Arctic. Beautifully timed. And then towards Dark Slayer to contest it, and that's exactly what happened. Oh, this is Fricka actually missing the charge there on Tanumi, but I'm not sure it's going to matter as he's getting destroyed. I agree 100%, though. To me, gaming is in the driver's seat. The stun finding a minion not a crucial target there. They're going into Shitaka. A lot of damage finding CO, though. They're not going to overstep here on the top. And ALX on the back trying to get the plays onto Lubu. Not quite able to find the takedown. Jin are doing a lot of work here as well, but not securing those crucial takedowns as we see the split coming in once again, separating it from Arctic. A bit of a better fight here for Myth, but in the end, just not enough. With the big lumbar ult, that's what we see, and they're looking to go in here, but only finding one as Zunk has joined the fray. Look at the damage coming in there, diving the tower with the PD right now. Yushimitsu is going to pop that. Look at the damage that wow, Jinar is look doing. look at the Jinar. This is exactly what Jinar needs to win these fights. When they're all on top of him like that, he excels with that ultimate Nirvana. And wow, and this is this is Myth's chance to come back. This is Myth's chance to come back because they are diving in under the tower, under the core. This is not an ideal situation to be in as Numir is here, full health, looking ready to scrap the boulder as joined it. He, he wants to roll over the side of Arctic Gaming right now, but smartly backing is the side of Arctic. They overstep potentially there. So wave control and organizing the wave is actually really important in a late game once you have the dark step up like this. But the fight is breaking in now. Numir is charging in as well. Look at the damage coming in from Yoshimitsu, but he's trying to survive. He is actually going to drop though without securing those crucial takedowns. Kappa is getting charged in the back, but he is going to survive. The peel is beautiful coming in from the side of Arctic Gaming as Lumbar is there, but it is too little too late. That is going to be three convincing takedowns. <laughs> yeah, so I feel like they should have backed off and just cleared the wave and wait for that buff to go away and then make a play because having a team with Dark Slayer buff is so risky. It doesn't matter if Jinnar has his damage reduction and all that. It's not going to work out because that damage amp is just too much. And with that, we have GG. Arctic Gaming takes it 2-0 over the side of Myth in pretty convincing fashion. Long games, kind of close, but overall solid. Yeah, I'm happy they won because that makes my prediction rate 100% still.